Hi, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, where I have not one, but two stream crashes, potentially, to talk about. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. So let's uh, let this load in here. All right, I'll, I'll leave it at the press any button to continue, and I won't press the any button until I've told you what's up. So um, if you were following on from the last YouTube uh, episode, uh, the last chapter, if you will, uh, we uh, beat the Sonorous Prophet. After that, the stream crashed, and so you didn't see the end of the episode, which was basically just putting a few people in for stress relief, a couple building upgrades, and then I decided I wanted to run a mission in the wield with four level ones doing a medium mission where they have a specific goal to complete. Excellent. Who are those people? It's the Alex Queen, Garantika, Nils, and Tanira. Uh, partially, I want to bring Alex out again because uh, Alex's uh, story just came out uh, the other day, Blood Packets. And uh, I'm very happy with uh, it's gone and the response that I've got to it. Not happy with streams continually crashing. Uh, seems like it's lately much more during Dark. I just did a, like an hour long um, uh, Stranded Deep session with no problem. But, you know, we'll. Soldier through as best we can. The the change when um, I have an issue like stranded deep. Or excuse me, with a darkest dungeon is um, I can't just load an old save. Uh, darkest dungeon constantly overwrites your only save uh, in kind of an Iron Man mode, which is good. This is what I want. Now this team has no healer. <laughs> this is a really dumb team. Um, this could be very interesting. So, uh, Nils can at least heal himself. But this could get quite interesting. So I kind of forgot that Upala has a heal. Upala's an antiquarian. Uh, Alan doesn't have a heal. So this is our healer. Is basically our healer. Um, but, you know, sometimes interesting choices lead to dramatic episodes. Now I need to focus a little bit more on what I'm doing because, uh, as I just mentioned, this team is somewhat stupidly constructed. Um, let's get everybody dodging well. Nope, can't do it from that spot. So, Alex, you're, you're somewhat fighting. Um, I really want the stress girl gone, and she is. Good job, Tanira. Maintain the offensive. And I'm watching the... Uh, I'm always in on my own stream. I'm always on my uh, channel uh, keeping an eye on the lag and seeing how far behind the fiend uh, falls, reality the, fiend the stream is. And um, it's funny, I have two computers doing this and um, the difference on w uh, what one is showing versus what the other one is showing is quite dramatic. Probably this has more to do with my home uh, setup than anything else, but... All right, let's see. Um, I really just want to get out, get out of this fight, and get my bearings. So I don't, I don't want uh, Alex up where she is. Come on, Garantika, you could have finished it there. Especially with our complete uh, dearth of healing, uh, it would be good to uh, finish this. You know, you can heal yourself though. We'll take that, take that moment. You're the most hurt. Can you stun? You can. Because if you can, well, my attempt to stun that guy killed him. Okay, a little, a little extra food. We're gonna call that healing. And uh, yeah, take a little of that. Take a little of that. Okay, we'll open this uh, chest here. Of course, a Alex has interacted with three things, and each one of them has uh, been cursed or trapped in some way. Okay, uh, we almost have the lineup I want. There we go. All right, moving on, moving on. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to get my bearings. Um, I mean, I kind of rushed into this uh, early on and didn't, for one thing, I didn't bring shovels. That's super stupid. I didn't really make sure we had a good healer. That was dumb. So I guess if anybody dies in this one, it's on me. But, you know, I, I pretty much lead in my descriptions of these things as... 
you know, I'm not a good Darkest Dungeon player. That's why that's part of the fun. You know, I'm not somebody to watch to go, oh, wow, look at how, look at these tips I'm picking up. Uh, decidedly not. This is more about the story for me and just the various narratives that show up on some of these characters. Like right now, I'm noticing that everything Alex touches is cursed, which is actually really in line with her book counterpart. Continually onslaught. Surprisingly so. And the response to uh, Blood Packets has been really, really good. I really have never gotten this many emails from readers before on a new story telling me how much they liked it and how much they want to see a, a series starring that character. Um, so that's, you know, I wasn't sure if, I, I mean, I definitely wanted to do more with Alex. I didn't know if it would make sense to do it because, you know, like a lot of writers, I have more ideas than I have time. But if there's interest uh, in a particular character in a, a particular setting, which so far it seems is true in this case, then it's definitely worth my time. Um, let's bleed everybody. And there we go. And... I'm looking now how far behind is the stream. It's so far behind. <laughs> Alright, uh, slow and insidious killer. Yes, I have heard about that. Okay, we're going to take that instead. And I don't want to use another torch. Hey, I'll use this one. There we go. we got to take this too, though. We're going to run out of room here. Um, instead of the green stuff. Okay, another fight. Nope, no fight. No fight in this room. We haven't seen a single one of the things we're supposed to be uh, purifying either. All right, so we do this fight, and then we check the curio past the fight. Hopefully this will be a quickie. I think that's one of the infected corpses behind the, uh, the little worms here. Oh, Garantika, how could you miss? Alex, thank you. Uh, I wouldn't mind hitting them all. That would be fine. And I wouldn't mind doing this. That would be fine. Slowly. And that's Gently. also fine. This is how a life is taken. And, um... Alex is stunned. That's okay. A little nibble. That's okay. Executed with that's fine. Good. <laughs> Oh, old memory for me. I used to be an altar boy. Uh, I was an acolyte uh, in uh, it's a, a Protestant Episcopalian church a million years ago. I'm not a particularly religious person now, and I really wasn't then either. But the um, the uh, minister was a very, very nice man, Father Gates, and he just he would say that fine, good. He would say that a lot. That exact cadence. So it's just so an interesting memory. Okay. Um, I want to try something with the stream that I'm watching. I wonder if I refresh it, will it be more caught up with reality or will it still be far behind? Interestingly, it's still far behind. That's very, very odd. All right, so here's one of our infected corpses. We're just going to hopefully assume everything out. So let's hit him with the green stuff. You can't have to start quest items. I wasn't trying to. Oh, wait a minute. Um, a, Y. Um, isn't this what we're supposed to do? Isn't this the, the thing? Uh, investigate. Maybe that isn't. I, mean, I guess this isn't the thing. Okay, well. We'll turn around then. I guess that wasn't it. I assumed it was. I mean, it was a corpse. All right, now we have a long way to walk. Other than Nils's uh, blight, though, we're in decent shape. Um, I think I would like Nils to uh, have some food, mostly to just counteract that uh, blight damage. Another game. Uh, I'm 
PC streaming. Things we can interact with here. One of them is this sack. Forgot to interact with it with Alex. That's who's supposed to touch everything. And we don't have the. Hey! It's not looking good. All right. Still alive over on this screen. How are we doing over on this screen? All right. It's pretty far behind reality, but they're both still running. Um, and I haven't been booted out yet. So I guess, let's see, let's move the uh, map here. And, um, I mean, this looks like a corpse, right? Mummified remains. What are we supposed to do here? The hero becomes diseased by the remains. Activate three infective corpses. This is a terribly strong concoction to counter the effects of the... Oh, so this is... Maybe they're supposed to use this after they touch the corpse? I mean, have we... I don't see the counter going down. Crap. Nils, you, you're surprisingly stressed out. I wasn't, didn't really notice that. Alright, let's hop in here. We'll do this fight. Oh good, it's this fight. Now this looks like an infected corpse. Okay, so, you know what? Forget the stress. Let's get rid of these stupid slime guys, or this fight will never end. One more hit on the slime guy. Wow, Alex is super hurt. When did that happen? Alright, no slime guys. You know what? You can pull Tanira. I don't care. She resisted you anyway. That's how awesome she is. Uh, give us a dodge, Alex. Thank you. Dodge buff is good. And, uh, Tanira needs to start healing. <laughs> They're gonna keep stressing Nils because he's the one with the most stress. These girls aren't stupid. They didn't wake up just yesterday. Okay, a little more light. Um, flash powder. Not great. Um, let's just hit her for four. And hit her. I really wish you could have ended that, Garantika. I have to say, Garantika, you're not really impressing at all. Um, I probably should have attacked with him. Tanira needs to heal. That's decent, mostly because Alex has so little health that it looks it looks good. Good dodge. Good dodge. All right, one down. And let's. Uh, I want to keep keep up the heals. That's a good heal, Tanira. Um, can't hit the bad guy. Trying to get these corpses out of the way, I guess. And let's see, let's see. Oh, we could have hit her. So that was my mistake. Alright, Nils. Hang in there, Nils. You can do this. She's bleeding. She's gone. Alright. Now we can take care of one of these guys. All right. Get that little cork pop. That was great. Okay, back to our map. We go all the way back. And I think when we get all the way back, here's an opportunity for Nils to uh, heal some stress from this trap here. Um, good job, Nils. I like Nils. Uh, Nils is, uh, has been described as a cinnamon roll, and I like that. Uh, I had to look that up, wasn't familiar with the term, but now I am. And I think I've got a couple cinnamon roll characters, and Nils is definitely one of them. He's just a, just a, just a nice person. Nils is just nice. There are people who are just nice. Alright, I'm looking at the, uh, <laughs> the stream here. Oh, I'm about to camp. I'm debating whether we want to go north first. And 
deal with the stress that we get from this obstacle, do the fight the that comes after it, test. and then now camp. Because be we're already almost dark, and one of the big hits you take from Terrors the obstacle is the light loss. So let's clear it. Yeah, we know it's bad, Nils. You're you're probably gonna go. There probably isn't anything we can do about that. All right. Um, In radiance, okay, that might have been wait wasting things, but I I did not want this next fight to go badly. All right, this is another one. And this potentially, if 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 we manage uh, taking these guys out because of the surprise, well, with that with that dodge, it's pretty much not happening now. But it was a good try. All right, it's three dogs instead of four. Um, wow, Alex's stress is quite hot. I have been standing up this entire episode. I'm on the edge of my seat, and I wish I could say it's only because of the game, but it's more because of my stream tensions. don't know why I have so much trouble specifically with the Darkest Dungeon. I can't imagine that has anything to do with the game. Probably has more to do with time of day, or my crappy internet, or maybe this time of night everybody's streaming, so Twitch is busier. Look at their stress. Gush. Good gosh. Gush. Gush is a combination of good gosh. Guys, we're camping. It's coming. I promise you. Alex, or uh, Tanira, throw a heal down on Alex, please. Nice crit. Well done, Tanira. If we get through this, Tanira will be why. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Uh, give Garantika a heal, please. Another great crit. Alright. There we go. All right, first let's do this. Pop the corpse. A boon at last. And we camp. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. An uneasy companionship. Okay, everybody heals up a little. Hound's Watch. Prevents nighttime ambush. Well, I always want that. Okay. Man's best friend reduces 20 stress. That's great. Whatever tomorrow brings, six legs are better than two. All right, what's this? Uh, the party gets plus 10 dodge, plus five crit. That's decent. Uh, but I would like triage. All companions heal 20%. They're not really that hurt. It's more about wound care. Okay, heal. Yes, so if we do wound care on Nils, that's going to stop his bleeding, or Garantika, stop his bleeding, and heal him. Okay. Um, finally, we could encourage, but not Nils. Nils is the one who would need it the most. Um, where was that, that other one I was interested in? Tactics. Yeah, I'm into that. All right. Here we go. I can feel my heart. It pumps strong. We are healthy and prepared for what may come. We must be on our guard. I'll take first watch. The way is lit. All right, no ambush. We require only now, if we could just forward. find this other corpse quickly, we'll be okay. Look at the stress, though. And we don't, we do have bandages, don't we? No. Oh, we do, we do. Let's heal this now. Every little bit counts. Come on, guys, we're gonna get through this. Yes, your, your woes are my fault, really. I am a bad Darkest Dungeon Commander. Now, what about the secret room? The secret room. Check it out. What does we have a key, we have an antiquarian, 
What do we get? 3,500 for the puzzling trapezohedron. Ornaments. Junia's head. Plus 30% healing skills. I think I might want to give that to Tanira right now. There was another head in there, too. Um, the other head, Dismas's head. You do more damage, but you have less HP and you take more stress. But Tanira, at least for now, please take Junia's head. Because we need all the heals you can do. And how do you get out of here? Um... Let's see. Nope. How does one leave the treasure room? Well, I don't want to be in this lineup. Oh boy. This is actually good because it gives the stream time to catch up. Um, hey, we got out. How about that? I'm not... Oh no, we're headed in the wrong direction. Oh god, if I back them up, they hate it. They hate it. Oh, look! What a freaking piece of good luck. We finished. We made it! We got there. Good fortune and hard work. Oh, Maybe gosh. I really way. didn't think this team could get through this, but, you know... Are they the C team? Are they the Z team? Today, they were the good team. They did a great job. Who leveled up? Nils, Tanira, Garantika, basically everybody but Alex. Uh, and I would definitely say Tanira is, was the star of that show. Pallid light filters its way through the rotting boughs. Now, Let us press on. it says, you get extra XP in the wield on your next quest, and you do extra damage in the wield on your next quest. So we're definitely going back to the wield. So let's see what we have here. Perilyn had a night on the town and recovered 56 stress. Silne underwent effective disease treatment and cured the runs. And even worse, Jang cured spasm of the entrails. Oh God, that sounds awful. Okay, Tanira now level two. Nils now level two. Garantika now level two. Okay, so let's take a look at some things while I wait and see. Okay, the stream is st <laughs> the stream behind reality is is still there. It's like about ten minutes behind, but it's still there. Um, still not seeing the class I'm looking for in the in the um, stagecoach. So I think the first thing we need to do is get some stress relief for these poor people. So can we upgrade uh, the bar? Let's see, this is stress, rec increases stress recovery, reduces cost. Um, I wouldn't mind, since we have Within the two the seats field, in the bar already, maybe they can be against let's the let Alex have a drink low. for sure. And uh, she can hang out with Nils. I think they would get along well. And Garantika, you can go here. And I mean, now our money is like, you know, starting to be not really a factor anymore which is great i've never financially i've never had the game go as well as it's going now um and i think having two antiquarians really really makes an impact um i don't really think we have any other stress relief that we need to do um i would like to take a look at what our em embarkation options are we definitely want to go to the wield and the wield has a boss fight so the boss fight in the wield is to kill the eight pounder. And what does it get us? Gold, papers, shields, and this very rare abomination, which reduces the amount of stress that the speaker would cause when he transforms. That's fantastic. So who would we bring on this little adventure? Um, not Drew and not Jang. I think they have leveled just past these types of fights. Look at this though. Jesus, a champion mission. Look at that. 
Who would we bring? Um, I think we would bring... Well, we need a healer. And we need a tank. Harab or Nima? Reliability or Crazy Town? Uh, I think on a boss fight, we probably prefer reliability. Now, we could bring... I'd like to bring a mix of threes and twos. Because I'd like to get some more twos up here. Now, Tanira, we really need to go get some stress relief. So we'll, we'll take care of you in a second, Tanira. Do we have another two worth bringing? I mean, we could bring Apollo. She's not really built for boss fights, though. She's more about... Now, the fifth is somebody we could bring. But the fifth comes with some problems. You know what? Maybe we'll just deal with... The, oh, it's not... Oh, it is a medium, yeah. So we would have to be dealing with the fifth's problems. But, you know, we can't... We can't leave her at home every time just because of that. We'll deal with it. Um, certainly Silne would be good. Odin would probably be good. Uh, I feel like... It's between Odan and Karak's, and I think the last time I was trying to decide between Odan and Karak's, I took Odan. I think I'll bring Karak's this time. So this would be the fifth Silne, Karak's, and Nima against the Brigand 8 Pounder. Uh, now I do want to give um, uh, Tanira some stress relief here. So, whoops, that's not... Not what I want. Let's go here. Tanira. Why don't you go to the cloister? Now, if we're gonna take these four though, let's take a look at make sure they're well and fully upgraded. Like uh you. The fifth. Are you upgraded? You are not. So we will upgrade your goodies. Okay, what is this one that we're not using here? Puncture. Uh, no. That seems fine. And this one here. Serpent Sway. No. I think we're good with that, but let's look at your um, weapons as well. Fifth. Your weapons. Now, could we upgrade the armor another level? No, we're miles away from that. Okay. We upgraded her uh, her damage, though. So that's good. Uh, Nima, how you doing on upgrades? Can upgrade your, your weapon. Silne. Upgrade your weapon. Karax. We'll upgrade your weapon. Okay. Let's check their, their abilities. Okay. Nima. Upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Silne. Upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade. Eric's upgrade, 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 upgrade. Great. Now, something we haven't done before is the survivalist. Survivalist lets you uh, unlock different um, camping abilities. So let's take a look at our camping folks, starting with Nima. So Nima has this that blesses. But she could have this stress reduction. She could have this prey. If religious prevents nighttime ambush. I don't actually know how to tell when someone's religious and how they aren't. But I wouldn't mind encourage as being an option. Okay, and we need to turn off one of her camping skills in order to turn that on. And I feel like this is probably the one I wouldn't use. And what did I turn? What did I just... Oh, oh, I do have four if I do one more. Okay. Um, now, let's see. Silne. Just seeing for... Just looking for anything, you know, kind of crazy good. That's not bad. Sharpened Spear. And Carex. <laughs> this is how we do it. Um... Really, the big thing I'm always looking for is preventing the ambush. And as long as the fifth is with you, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so uh, I kind of feel like probably we're fine. Give her pep talk. 
Okay, so we spent like 20,000 gold there. That's fine. So I think this is good. Uh, I think this is where I'm going to leave things. So next time we're going up against the Brigandate Pounder and we're taking the fifth, Silne, Carex, and Nima. Uh, that's going to do it for this chapter of the continuing story of Darkest Dungeon. Thanks for watching. Take care of each other, and I will see you next time.